Hi there, this is Ronnie. I am Buzz Knight coming at you with a video. I thought I'd do a couple of quick reviews. Um, thematic. Uh, the reviews I did last time were thematic in so much as they were both card games and they both had you playing or using uh, characters that had certain abilities. This time the theme is zombies. The theme is zombies. Uh, so the two games I want to talk about are Zombie Dice and Zombies, a card game. So I've ruined pictures. Um, I'll deal with Zombie Dice first. Now this is very much a filler game. Uh, this is from Steve Jackson Games. Uh, in here is our uh, 13 six-sided dice. Uh, some colored green, some colored yellow, some colored red. On each of these dice are uh, a combination of three uh, symbols. There are brains, there are uh, gun blasts or shotgun blasts, and then there are feet. Um, on the green die, there are more brains than shotgun blasts. On the yellow die, they're evenly spaced. And on the red die, there's more shotguns than brains. Um, essentially, what you do is at the start of your turn, uh, you shake the old tub, you pick out three dice blind, you don't get to see them, and you roll them. If you roll a brain, you put it to the side, that's good for you because we are zombies, we are trying to eat brains. Um, if you roll a shotgun blast, you put it to the side as well. Um, and if you roll the little footprints, the uh, runaway, uh, it stays in the middle. After you roll those three dice, uh, you have a choice. You can either stick, uh, you collect the number of points equal to the number of brains you currently have, uh, you bank those points, you put all the dice back in and you pass the tub over to the next person. Or you can roll again. Rolling again means you roll another three dice. Uh, you don't roll the brain or the shotgun, those are safe out of the way. If you roll any uh, runaways, uh, you roll that one plus the number of dice to bring it back up to three. So in that example, if you roll one shotgun, one brain and one runaway, the shotgun goes to the side, the brain goes to the side, and you would pull out, if you were going to roll again, you would pull out another two dice blind to add to the third one with the, the little footprints and you would roll them. You would continue to do so until either you bank the points, in which case the bottom points that you've banked are safe, dice go back in and you pass the top to the next player. You get three shotgun blasts in which case you lose all the points that you've made that turn. Any points that you've made in previous turns that you've banked, they're safe. Or uh, you keep rolling and rolling and rolling when uh, you get brain after brain after brain, and I've seen this happen, until you actually are incapable of rolling three dice. If you get to the point where you, there's simply not three dice free to roll, then you automatically bank the, the, the points that you've gained, the, the amount of brains. And it's the first 13 points. Incredibly quick, incredibly simple. One of the interesting parts about this game, other than the fact that it's exceptionally simple to, to teach, so you could you could really have uh, kids as young as sort of seven or eight. I mean, there's no lurid uh, or sort of graphic imagery on it. It's just a little green brain or yellow or red, it's just a little brain or a couple of feet or a big sort of blast on the die. Um, and it's, it, it's a very simple game. The other thing I like about it is the fact that it's for two or more players. There isn't actually an upper limit. You could be sitting with 12 friends and just pass this round and keep going and going and going so someone wins. Um, which I like about that. It would mean that you'd be sitting around for a long time, but you could do it. Um, would I recommend this game? Yeah, I would. And it's fairly cheap. It's about 10 or 11 pounds. Not bad, actually. 
it's a filler game. It is a push your luck uh, filler game. It's, there's no strategy involved. Uh, you're chancing your arm. Because you're rolling three die, there's every possibility that even if you don't have a shotgun blast set to the side, you could lose all your points in one roll. Because if you roll all the shotguns, that's you lost all the points for that round. Um, so you are pushing your luck with it. Uh, and it's, 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 it's fairly inconsequential. It's a fairly silly little game. Um, and it's one of those that can be done as a nice little filler. 10, 15, 20 minutes while you're waiting on the main game. Next up is Zombies. This is from Twilight Creations. Uh, they do have uh, an actual board game. Uh, uses uh, boards as tile placement. Uh, called Zombies. And this is a quick version, sort of mobile card sort of version of that game. Um, I got this second hand. Um, it comes with a fair amount of cards, the rules and a six-sided die. The cards are very unique in so much as they're double-sided. I'll show you what I mean. Pick a card out here, pick a card on the card. On the one side you have uh, an area um, which includes a number of zombies you can get like one zombie, two zombies, sometimes four zombies. And on the other side is some sort of special ability. Uh, these can be weapons, they can be uh, pluses that you can get, they are things you can play against other players. Essentially what happens is you are given a, a, a pile of cards in front of you. Um, it's 18 cards if it's a two-player game, uh, 17 cards otherwise. Any of the cards that aren't used are just put back in. And essentially you, you take the top three and you put them to the side. These are your bullets, which I'll explain in a minute. And then you take the next three and they become your hand. There's no, upper, there's no upper limit to the amount of cards in your hand. Um, and what you're essentially doing, the scenario is, is that you're making a run for it in this zombie-infested town and you're trying to reach the helicopter. In game terms, what that means is you're trying to get rid of your pile of cards. You do this every turn by placing the card uh, street uh, side up into a middle pile. This is known as the map. And then you fight the zombies. You fight the zombies by rolling a die. Um, if you roll four or more, uh, the zombie is defeated. Obviously, uh, you can have equipment cards placed in front of you that may give you bonuses. If you roll four or more, then the zombie is defeated. For every zombie that's defeated, um, you place one of the cards in your pile into your hand. If you don't roll four, you roll less than, you may use the bullets at the side to bring the, the total up to four. If you, for example, roll two, then you would use two cards, two bullets, and they would go back into your uh, back into your pile, uh, making it more difficult for you to get down to the bottom. Ultimately, you want to have no uh, cards at the bottom uh, in your pile. The first person to actually get rid of all their cards um, wins the game. Do I like this game? Yes, but with um, it's nowhere near as tactical as it possibly might have been. Um, I think it's a very simple game. Um, I don't think the rules are quite as clearly laid out as maybe they could have been. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's an okay game. 
I don't think it's great. I think it's good, but not great. Um, it's not a game that I would play very often, and I'm glad actually I didn't buy it full price. But it's a game that, um, come Halloween, I think I would whip out and play a quick game of, because I think it's 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 a fairly simple little game. Um, would I recommend it? I think if you have any of the sort of myriad of horror games out there and you enjoy those games, I'm not sure I can recommend it because I think there will be far there'll be far much more atmosphere generated uh, in those board games. Or RPGs um, than there is in this card game, and certainly if you have the zombies board game, then I would certainly not recommend this game. If you don't have it and you're looking for something that's fairly simple, fairly light, then I would suggest maybe giving it a look. If someone else has it that you know of, uh, perhaps get in on game. And see what you think of it. Um, I mean, it's 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 one I own. I will play again, uh, but it's not one that I'm going to be sort of jumping to get back in at again. Uh, but ultimately, I I think it's uh, very good. The only thing I would say is, um, given the subject matter, the artwork, as you sort of notice from the front box. The artwork is pretty graphic, um, not explicit, but certainly not one you would want in front of small children. Whereas Zombie Dice is, there's nothing in it. Uh, this one you couldn't have small kids in near, let alone play. Um, as I say, it's a good little game, but not as good as I thought it might have been. I don't regret having it. I just wish it was, it was a little better, and I'm glad I didn't buy it full price. Um, so those are my two reviews for these games, um, and uh, I'll be back soon with another video.